Okay, update. Me and Paul, um, we're, we're driving, driving and yeah. we found a dog. One, two, three, four. We're gonna need a hell of a lot of clothes in this tank. Also put a light on the tank. This touches the glass. It's gonna literally gonna break. I gotta be so careful. Dang it. Okay, update. Me and Paul, um, we're, we're driving, driving and yeah. we found a dog. Great start to this video, guys. Welcome He's back. He's actually very cute. Welcome look at him. Back. Hi, buddy. I gotta look for people that are outside, dude. Hey, do you know anyone that has a pit bull that looks like this? All right, guys. The pit bull that we just found is actually in my room right now. But, guys, we are gonna put it on the Jupiter Facebook and hopefully the owner will find them. Uh, if I do end up finding the owner, I'll probably let you guys know. We are at the pet store once again. I think this is the third time in three videos. But that's a wasp. Yeah, that's what we got it. Whoa! Anyway, uh, we've been to the pet store a lot lately, but we're getting things done. That's what we're here for. So uh, today, we're gonna get everything for the fish tank. Everything for the tank. We have, uh, we're gonna get some sand, some driftwood I got in the backyard. We're just gonna cut it. We got a ton of stuff. So let's head on into the pet store. This is one they didn't let us film at last time. So we're gonna try to make it in there, film everything we need to do, and then get on out of here and head home. All right, so we're just gonna get one two big bags of sand because we're gonna go to a different pet store to get the heaters and everything else for this. This is the only store that sells the black sand, so we're gonna get two bags here and maybe another bag if they have another one at a different store. And this guy right here, this is where it circulates the water, so it's obviously a better flow if I get an arowana or something like that. We're just gonna get this. All right, next pet store. All right, so I guess these are pretty pricey, dude. 40 bucks a piece for these heaters. I'm gonna get two of them just because uh, it says 75 gallons a piece, so 160 gallon, do the math. Bam, God, that was loud. Dude, they actually have some exotic fish in here right now. We got baby frondosas right here, super cool. Look at the puffer fish. It walks on land? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I bet you didn't see that thing. It looks like a log, but that's a fish. Look that's at the garamis, bro, those are huge. Those are Stealth mode gar up there just chilling. These right here are goldfish literally on steroids. Look how big they are. If you think I should get those goldfish right there, those fat goldfish, hit the like button. If this gets 10,000 likes, I'll come back and get mega buddy for bingo. That'll be like his buddy because they're about the same size. He's huge. 10,000 likes. Can we do it? Alrighty. And a big aerator stone. Grab it. That whole thing? Yeah, 20 I was thinking bucks. like this and then like two of these. Yeah, for sure. Cop some of those little guys. Maybe like one of these. And one of those. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doing great. What y'all got going on today? Big fish tank setup. Big fish tank, how big? Big fish tank, how big? What? What are you going to put in it? I don't know yet. You guys don't play around. You do. No. All right, guys. We're officially done. We're going to head to the pet store. Whoop. Get one more bag of sand and then head home. See you in a bit. 20 minutes later. All right, open that up. Now here is the jet. And just like that, it's actually in place now, ready to be pushing water flying out that way. So uh, you can obviously angle it, it's on a rotator, you can angle it any way you want. But as you can tell, this tank is coming along, it's got the black sand on the bottom, it matches right with the black stand, so uh, looks pretty good. I've got a few rocks right here that I think would look good. So one into this tank. This was in the pond before, so this touches the glass, it's literally gonna break. I gotta be so careful putting it in. We'll get a different filter, actually like a pump filter. And of course we got the flow right here. We're gonna get a back screen so where it's just black in the back. So then when it lights up, everything's black besides the fish and obviously the LED that's lighting up the tank. But you can see the rock right in the middle. We're gonna get both these heaters right here, put them in that, and the next heater over here. So they're kind of spread out between the two. So yes, like I, so yes, like I said, we're gonna need a lot of plugs to make everything run. We've got two heaters, 300 watts on the opposite sides, two filters. We're obviously going to get another pump filter. There'll be a lot of filtration in this tank. We've got the circulation pump right here, and then we're going to put in, right now, I got a bag of plants. I believe there's like three different plants in there. These two right here, these two more plants that are smaller. And then, oh, package came undone, but a, a stone for the aerator. Now, if you remember when I got this tank, it came with a bunch of stuff. One of them was a tubing and this aerator pump right here. So I'm gonna get the tubing, 
pull out approximately what I think is enough. I'll just use all this and have the excess just hanging. But as you can see on the end of this top fin air pump right here, there's a little opening. You want to put your tubing over that little opening, push it in. And then if I was to plug this in, you'd hear it. Hear it? See? Just like that, air just starts coming out. So if I was to sink that, it would obviously become a, a lot of oxygen coming out right there. Put all those wires like that. Now all that's left is the plants. And these plants are going to make it look a hell of a lot better. So I'm going to put the first small little plant like this right in that back corner. This tank's so big and deep. First one is in. Doesn't look bad. Hide him back there in that corner there. All these little uh, balls of sand will actually eventually just kind of burst and then sink down to the bottom. They're just like little air bubbles full of sand. I actually moved the oxygen stone to this back corner here. I think it'll look cool when it comes off the corner and rolls away from that. So once again, we have these plants now. Three giant plants. These look so real in the water. Once these, once these get a little bit of algae on them and stuff, it's gonna look ridiculously real. So we're gonna put this one right here. Just from that right there, like Tommy just said, it looks so real. It's crazy. These ones look pretty cool as well. These are like more like natural looking. If you go out in a lake like Lake Ida and Delray, this is what you'll see a lot of these types of plants just light up on the bank. So there you go. There's another plant in around that rock right there. I think I'm gonna go grab another little rock and put it in that back corner right there so that the air is like coming out with that rock. Another rock going in this back corner. Powder. This pretty cool. I got this one because I thought it would look cool, like maybe in front of something. So I think I'm gonna put it. Should I put it in front of that? Yeah, right there. All right, that is pretty much it for the look of the tank. Without an LED on top of it, it obviously looks different. Once we get an LED, it's gonna look so sick. But for now, that looks really good. Once we get that black background. We're done, we're pretty much done. I just gotta put dechlorinator in here, or kinda just let it run. Like I said, we're not in any sort of rush. Two heaters, a bunch of plants, rocks, that, and uh, I don't know what kind of fish I'm putting in yet, so keep on commenting on the original video. I'll have that video linked up here, so if you guys wanna comment down below on what fish I should get, and then I'll put your comment in the video if I do end up getting that fish, but it's gonna be pretty awesome. Um, I'm really stoked to have this 160 gallon tank in my office, so there's the jet. Look at the jet. I didn't know which one I plugged in, but that's the jet, and you can see how much flow that thing is pushing. Completely like changes the whole tank style. Look at that. Nope, that's the aerator. Oh, that's the aerator. That looks super cool. Come from behind. Look at that. See how cool that looks? Air is coming out from the top, so as you can come up right here, and then look how it bursts off the sides like that. All right, I'm putting this driftwood right here into this tank right there. I'm gonna let it just kind of fly around and soak. Dude, I did like a little makeshift brick tying with line to tie it down because these things will not sink. So as you can see, the line, fishing line's like tied and it's secured. So it's not gonna come off and like strangle the fish that's in here. All right, that is a complete fish tank right there. As you can see, the driftwood is like behind that giant boulder with the other plants kind of around it. So it looks really cool. More like natural, like tucked in with the other live, or the other fake plants. It looks so live though. All right, so I've got two today because I forgot last video. I'm sure there's a billion comments telling me you forgot to do the positive comment thing. So today I have two winners. One is Gamer Boy TV. Thank you for putting a smile on my face. You make my day a whole lot better. Thank you for watching. And then the next one is Patch, Patchy Magic, Patchy. It's Patchy Magic. And I sit through class waiting to get home to watch your videos. So that's a pretty cool comment right there. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said before, comment down below a positive comment. Maybe I'll put you in the next video. And uh, that's it. Tank is now designed. We're about ready for fish. We're gonna give it a little bit longer, probably one or two weeks to put fish in here. But I've got a pretty solid idea on what I want. Like I said, comment on the other video if you do wanna throw some suggestions at me. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Peace. All right, we got it. We're good. Woo! I'm inside the tank, by the way, too.
By the way, we also put a light on the tank right here. For now, it's just two, uh, it's just two two by fours, just holding this whole entire light across the tank. But uh, obviously, once we get the top done, that'll look much better. But come back here, you could turn the light. There's a bunch of different settings for the lights right here. I'm actually gonna just turn on white. Oh, that's uh, that's not white. Uh, uh, I'm getting used to that. I clicked white, but blue came up, so uh, I guess they're kind of swapped around. So blue maybe is white. Yeah, blue is white. All right, so swap it around. And dude, look at this tank. In the dark, that is all blacked out. Those plants look so real, but they're not. They're fake, they're artificial. And that black background was just a bunch of pieces of construction paper that you do projects at, at school with, right out of Walmart. And I just duct taped them on the back side. So, uh, and look at that. That is a homemade background for a fish tank right there. I honestly should have filmed more of that. 